Oh my gosh, I am on mute for a second. <laughs> I am so sorry. Let me double check. No, oh, my mic is fine. I forgot to unmute me. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. <laughs> If you're, I might have been muted this whole time. I was about to say, welcome to the Women Revolution of Pro Wrestling. Welcome to NWOW. <laughs> Your commentator, Duck Nivis and Roman, here live in El Paso, Texas. As right now, we're coming down to the ring. We got NWOW official Kim Possible has like to make an announcement. The fact that we're here today. You'd be wondering what's been going on. Yes, you were muted this whole time. Thank you, Lurker. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just realized that right now. Like, no. 
have been muted. <laughs> what well, every stream will say, I am a professional streamer. <laughs> Anyways, Kim Possible is here announcing that we have the inaugural NWOW Internet Championship and will be involving with all the other wrestlers who are competing here representing from their other effects. And not only that, for the final spot we'll be representing for NWOW, we're gonna have a eight women battle the cup match to to represent NWOW to compete for the internet championship. I'm already blind, you don't have to simulate death to me. <laughs> oh lurker. <laughs> You're so funny sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible start point to the show. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I haven't been muted this whole time, but that's okay. <laughs> but as, as I've been muted this time, I was saying that you can see my my upper head are the match cards that will be featured at the pay-per-view show fight mirrors in halloween town and of course one of the match has been announced for the our caw show and you're gonna see here at the nwow internet championship as for later on tonight we're gonna have a battle royal well a battle of the cosmos match we got scarlet versus eliza the grim reaper who has been playing my games on Scarlet, and of course, <laughs> I'm supposed to make this announcement. The Oogie Boogie's Chamber Match, which pretty much the first ever NWOW Elimination Chamber Match. And of course, as Queen Rivera will be do pulling a double duty for the Interstar Hybrid Championship, and of course, we got the Marauders will be facing the Ruthless Aggression for the Tag Team Championship. And this here is a representing from the CAW. They're gonna have a triple threat match from these, these three ladies from the other EFED. And then it'll repeat all over again. Yes. <laughs> so tonight I'll be featuring some of the star who's gonna be featuring over at the pay per view show. And what NY official is supposed to say this card right here. It's funny to say we got Tetris Girl and Melissa in the same card. Some say she's the same person. But the only issue is if neither Tetris Girl or Melissa show up at the preview show, they will get replaced. And we don't know who it is. <laughs> we're yet to find out at the pay-per-view show, Fight Mercy in Halloween Town. And since there's no Melissa in sight somewhere, since last I've been here, she's been competing in other E-Feds, which is blowing my mind that she has been winning championship titles, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to the show. Since Melissa is not, not here tonight, looks like the official Kim Possible has to set up a match to represent the Punk Race Sisters. The one-on-one -on -one match between Lita O'Brien going up against CC Ewing and what is going on with this match card? 2K, why? <laughs> that clown's supposed to be one side <laughs> and the sisters the other side. Get it together. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to load, of course it's loading, it's still loading. <laughs> you gotta love the loading screen. <laughs> 
Should have gone with the PC version. That loads a lot faster than a PlayStation 4. There we go. And here comes the clowns. With their rave. That's Lita O'Brien, the leader of Insane Sir Kays. Supposedly, she was supposed to have a match against Melissa Ewing. As I said before, she's nowhere to be found. Not show up to work, who knows? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing from Insane Turkey. She's from Memphis, Tennessee. She is known as the Insane Clown of Crime. Lita O'Brien. And not only that, there's something been going on between the clowns. She has been, they have been targeting Rhythm. Or, or I should say, somehow she's been involved or accusing the clowns for the kidnapping of Sweet Paul. And even Sweet Paul is nowhere to be seen. Calm yourself, Lita, Layla. <laughs> That's Layla just passing out there. And here we go. And her opponent. Representing from the Punk Race Sisters, accompanied by Kenny J. Ewing. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. She's known as a Saints Row Ninja. Cece Ewing. 2K, why? I think you answered your question by starting with 2K. <laughs> yes, 2K is always being a butt sometimes. It is what it is. And starting out, starting off with CC, and that's the one in the purple. And these two are the youngest sisters of Melissa Ewing. Because they're gonna be taking the spot from Melissa before the pay-per-view show. Refer James, ring the bell. And CC already <laughs> running head first with the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And now she's stomping away on Lita. And a kick to the back between the blades. Uh oh, try to go for the kick again, but Lita coming back with a forearm. And now throwing the punches away, all oh, the frustration there. And now Lita going for the back suplex, bringing down Cece. And for the second time, another back suplex. And she's going to pick up on CC. Blocks it. Block again by Lita. And another forearm takedown. That's Lita. Uh oh. Katie J is distracting the clown here. <laughs> Lita just telling the Brit Brat to get down on the floor. But that caused a distraction, giving CC the advantage over this match. Yo! And a counterattack there by Lita. 
Oh, look at this. Lito Brian with the LU. Flipping it. Oh, come oh, on. This is why. This is why he's starting to hate on the clowns. They're going to get CZ with a triple power bomb. Gaining an advantage here. Oh, but Kitty J managed to make the save. Saving her sister in this match. There's the right hand by the ninja. Back to the corner and a close line. Going for the pinfall here. One. And a kick out by the clown of crime. And now throwing those punches away to Lita O'Brien. And a choke slam backbreaker. And she's numbering up here. Gotta get the end of days. Oh, maybe not. And a counter by Lita O'Brien. And a Uranagi slam. And the ninja grabbing the hole to the head of the clown here. To the turnbuckle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there goes the clown. And I thought it's a little quiet here. Okay. <laughs> and a dragon screw by Lito Bryan. A little too loud. Now Lita taking advantage here. This match once again. Waiting for Cece to get up. Not looking good here. And so close going for that four Nelson face buster. How to speak words, Cece. And again with a choke slam backbreaker. And now Lita coming back with a jawbreaker, followed by a running bulldog. As Lita putting the hurt on Cece, now turns it around for the cover. One, two, kick out of two. Now picking up the ninja, sending through the ropes. Uh oh, CZ gonna pick up into the gut wrench power bomb. One, two, and a kick out. S still, Lita O'Brien managed to stay in the match and for the dirt tie with a choke slam backbreaker. And what is CZ doing? He just took off the patty on the turnbuckle. Uh oh, oh! Straight to the back of Lito O'Brien on the exposed turnbuckle. And our double knees. Cover one, two. Oh, and it's so close. The signature move from the Ewing sister with those knees. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, counter the end of days, Lita O'Brien. Reverses and that goes to the top with a shooting star. Cover, one, two, and three. She just defeated the Saints Ninja. My goodness. Here is your winner, Lita O'Brien. And what a clean, clean win for the clowns. And CCU just looks very upset, letting down her the, her sisters. Oh my. And look at that, she's all sweaty after the whole match. <laughs> Such graphics. <laughs>
And let's not forget that Lita O'Brien is still going to be competing in Oogie Boogie's Chamber Match at Fight Merchant Halloween Town Pay-Per-View Show. And up next, <clears throat> as requested by the NWL officials, we're not going to have many tag team matches today, because why? Because they take long, and I don't have plenty of time, but that's okay. Because up now we'll be featuring our one half of the tag team champions, Tracy Aggress, one on one against Enyo, right before they go to Fight vs. Hollow Wing Town for the tag team championship. Jack Napier, how you doing? No, Melissa, nobody said Chili Dogs. How are you even on the chat? I don't understand. <laughs> How's it going, Jack? Rosa! The Queen of Pixels is here. I mean, not Pixel. The Queen of Emotes is here. <laughs> how you doing, Rosa? Happy Friday, indeed. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing Rootless Aggression, she's one half of the NWOW Tag Team Champions. This is Tracy Aggress. I am doing well, todo bien aquí. Enjoy my day off, and hopefully I can get through this very quickly. <laughs> and here we go. Such a long entrance, and here is Enyo, represented from the Marauders, and her opponent, representing the Marauders. This is Enyo, and Enyo, one half of the tag team, the Marauders, and they're owned by NYG Man. Seth Rollins, hello! Welcome to NWOW, New Women of Wrestling. How you doing? <laughs> and Rosa not winning pixels. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> They're coming down to the second match. Out of ten. <laughs> Yeah, all right, starting off the match here. Tracy and Enya ready to go. Referee James, ring the bell. Why well, can be why did the sound did not? Uh oh, did I forget to put the sound again? <laughs> oh no, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> Glad to hear. Ah. Oh, this happened. I forgot to put this out. That's what happened. Oh, no. Uh, hang on a second. Just doing something real quick. Uh, Jack, if you could do me a favor, do the exclamation point quack again. And we got here Tracy Grass take it on on Enyo. Okay, so just making sure the sound is working, and I totally forgot to put that. <laughs> 
And we got here. There we go. Now I can hear it. <laughs> okay. And this time I actually fixed it on the sounds. <laughs> Quack indeed. <laughs> and now we got down to Tracy Agress already taking over. You got what? And Seth Rollins, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the flock. <laughs> I appreciate the follows. <laughs> Now Tracy Agress going to the top rope, going for the frog splash, but Angel with the knees. And a captured DDT. And kicked in the midsection, Angel and another DDT going straight for the cover. One, two, kick out at two. And now off to the ropes. Blocks the drop kick. And a big chop to. Followed by a leg drop. Goodness gracious, this is a fast pace in this match. And you gotta do it one more time. Turns it around. 504. I mean, 5. 054. There we go. 054. <laughs> a reverse. 450 splash by Tracy Agress. <laughs> now Anyo coming back with a jawbreaker. Going to pick up on Tracy. Hang on. Sunset flip. One, two. And kick out at two. And us. Whatever that move is at. <laughs> Oh, going for a roll into a small package. One. Only a one count. Surprisingly, that Tracy is still hanging on. And Russell's getting angry over here because not winning from Pixels. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and once again with a Diddy T by Enyo. Both teams trying hard to represent both of their team, even though they're going to be facing each other in a tag team championship match. What is this? Enyo on the top rope. Big elbow to the sternum. And she's going up again. And another elbow. Goodness gracious. Cover one, two. And still, Tracy not giving up. And it looks like Tracy is trying to fire up with the crowd. And now coming back with a close line elbow. Power shift to the corner. And a kick to the head by Tracy. But that is not stopping there. And sending to the corner once again by Enyo. Oh! And Tracy using those kicks. And fun fact about Tracy and Chris, her biggest fan is Chun Li. For the reason why she has those massive kicks. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's a massive. Us. That even hurt my bottom. <laughs> and how is Daniel still standing there? I mean, still fighting. <laughs> and once again with the DDT, cook to the leg. One, two. And three, Angel just defeated Tracy. Wow. Even after that high flying maneuver. Here is your winner, Angel. Oh my. And you're trying to give a good sportsmanship to Tracy by a little frustration going on. This is the first time I ever see Tracy ever get angry. <laughs> yes, GG to G-Man. 
mean, this is the first time I ever see Tracy ever get very angry. Usually she's very chill. But I guess not. And also, since you're now coming in here, you can see the match cards above my duck head. <laughs> These are the match cards they'll be featuring at the paper show. And not only that, that also means that Queen Andrea Rivera will be pulling a double duty at that night because she's going to be going after both championship title matches. And that is the Interstar Hybrid Championship up against Jellica. And then not only that, she'll be representing her brand alongside with NYG Man in the NWOW Internet Championship. I mean, you may, you may never know, she might become a Rivera Two Belts. Yes, your queen! <laughs> As you can see, we got six women who will be representing their own EFEDs. And that championship title will be only for <laughs> your cause. And not only that, later tonight, Queen Rivera is going to be facing the winner in the Six Women Battle of the Cosmos. Just to give a little taste of her... Of... Well, not taste. <laughs> kind of get the idea who she'd be going up against. Regarding the fact that... Uh... The match card, forgetting who's on the card. Regarding the fact that Jugga is not here tonight. And oops, I think I might have messed up here on the card. Yes, I did. Oh no. That's not the card I'm supposed to be. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> let's head down to the next match. We can already tell. Whoops. Ah, I minimize everything. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Very see Maya O'Murphy. She's representing from Breakout Wrestling. Got up against Kase, representing from CAW. What's the match card? Okay. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Longwood, Ireland. She's known as a bare knuckle lass. Here we go. Maya. Oh. Murphy. God dang renouncer. <laughs> God dang renouncer, why would you do this? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm over here trying to fix the match car on the bottom. <laughs> ah. Who's in the match? I totally forgot. I totally forgot who's in the match. Because I know. Opponent from Tokyo, Japan. She is the Wind Warrior, Kase. And Kase. Also, let me make some shout outs. Because <laughs> I totally forgot. As we got Maya O'Mercy. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Maya O'Murphy representing from Breakout Wrestling is going under hiatus, but he is she is also owned by my good friend Marty Fox. <laughs> he runs the EFA on this different channel. 
But due to the fact his computer fried, that's the reason he's going on hiatus. And now we got Kase, <laughs> representing from the CAW. Also, my good friend, Outbuck Pony. He runs his EFED over his YouTube channel every Thursday. Also, and he, he is also preparing for the next pay per view show, Dunder from Down Under. Once this pay per view goes out, you will also be also we'll have our NWOW match at that pay per view show as well. As we got here, of course. Kase will be part will be in a triple threat tag team match at Thunder from Down Under. But so right now she's gotta have to pull another duty here at Enwow as she's be preparing herself against Maya O'Murphy and other women for the NWOW Internet Championship. But here we go, Maya O'Murphy hits it with a leg drop. Going back again, another leg drop. And I'll work on the arm or Kase, but I will tell you this right now, this is the first time these two ladies have ever faced each other. Blank, because I totally forgot what's the match card. <laughs> Professional streamer over here. <laughs> it's okay. Now look at this, my own Murphy sending Kase with that weird suplex. Now dragging away from the ropes. Cover one, only a one count, and missed the kick. As he giving the advantage for Kase. Oh, knee strike to the midsection. Now going to pick up on Maya. What is this? Into the reverse DDT. And now dragging away from the ropes once again as he's being smart about it. And now Connor. And a clover leaf, but Kaze coming back with a double drop kick. Irish whip to the corner, double knees to the back. And now she's getting the beat down, even though it's not the size different fooled you, but Maya got caught with a super kick. Cover one, two. And a kick out. Kase could not believe it. Now she's going to the top row. Kase got to fly here. Maybe not. She's telling Maya to stand up. Into the her Karana. Once again, dragging away from the road and using those martial arts kicks to the head. And a European uppercut by Maya. Right hand by Kaze. Oh, here we go. And a single knee by Kaze. But so close, she would have ended that match, but now she's coming back with those clothesline. And brings down Maya. Oh, and there's son. The Wind Warrior gave the kick to Maya. But not enough to end the match. Irish way back into the corner. Knee to the midsection. What is this? Kaze. Springboard off with a leg drop onto the ring apron. And 
now waiting for that moment with the shiniest wizard. And turns Maya over, goes for the cover. One, two, and three, Kaze. Being a top star here in N1 and also at CAW picking up a victory. Here is your winner, the Wind Warrior, Kaze. And such sportsmanship between these two ladies. And hope they're ready to prepare themselves at Fight Merch and Halloween Town for the Internet Championship. Oh, the GG's, yes. <laughs> I forgot to update the card here <laughs> again. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I will say this right now, I enjoying the weather right now. It's nice and cool. Not as hot as the past few weeks. <laughs> All right, moving on. As we got a match between the Russian and the Mermaid. Match between Larissa Koslow going up against Ariel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. She is the Russian Saints Row. Larissa Koslov. And there has been some comments that certain someone's been saying that why she's wearing blue and not red. She's a rebel. She left Russia for that reason. <laughs> And decided to go live in Stillwater and join the Saints Row gang. And she is also the friends of CZ Ewing, who we saw earlier today. And her opponent from Under the Sea in Atlantica. She is the Disney Princess, Ariel! And this is Ariel. Oops, I have not been playing any slots or thing. As I was saying, this is Ariel, the Disney Princess, living under the sea in Atlantic. Oh, goodness gracious, that's so many pixels, and I want some pixels. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Ring the bell. And already firing away with those double elbows, but Kozlov pushing back on Ariel back to the corner. And a cheap shot to the head. That's very unlikely for Kozlov to do that. NYG Man, hello. Welcome back to NWOW. You're just, you just missed the first, uh, annual's match. <laughs> I 
The Marauders are to be going in a singles competition today. And next will be later on tonight will be Ruth McKay and Synovia. And not only that, keep a lookout for the next pay-per-view show. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and also enjoy your dinner too. <laughs> We got, as I mentioned before, the Marauders are the number one contender for the Tag Team Championship at Fight Mercy in Halloween Town. But we'll see what's gonna happen after that. As we, and right now, we got Ariel already taking over this match. That's Larissa. Going to the ropes, into the hip toss. Well, what's going on there? Hang on a second, that's Rebecca. What is she go what? What is she doing being involved in this match right now? Oh, here's the roll up by Larissa. Ariel managed to kick out. I mean, this is really, really concerning right now. Because Rebecca is, is a member of the Deckers. And Larissa, I'm sorry, Rebecca, yeah, Re Rebecca's the member of the Deckers, and L Larissa is a member of the Saints Row. I mean, both women are technically enemies, and oh, there's that battering head by Larissa. Oh, going up into the Spine Buster. Hook to the leg, cover, one, two, and three. I mean, what is this about us <laughs> giving the distraction you're in New York? I am so sorry for pushing your name. Xbox Neuronot Neuragi. I have speech problems. <laughs> Neuragi, there we go. <laughs> Welcome to NWOW. <laughs> your nightmare is here. <laughs> oh, no. New Rocky, thank you. <laughs> Here is your winner, Larissa Koslov. <laughs> I am sorry for b botching your name. <laughs> New Rocky, okay. <laughs> Hi, oh boy. <laughs> well, this is interesting. We got Rosa and New Rocky feud in my chat. <laughs> Anyway, we um, <laughs> doing your doing okay in this wonderful Friday. As we just witnessed the end of the match, we got Rebecca and giving the assist to Larissa. How funny that these two ladies are actually Russian. So this is gonna be interesting, though. At least it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. <laughs> I am not singing that song. <laughs> you got that song in my head now. <laughs> the funkiness is off the hook. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Rosa Boo. <laughs> Wait, Rosa Boo over. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No, <laughs> what is that emo? No GG. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually planning to have a. <laughs> a something specific. <laughs> oh no. Rose, that's such language. <laughs> Well, let's just hope Re Queen Rivera doesn't get any distraction at the moment because she has to pay attention to this match. As of course you may... S Rosa has a slim left in her head. Oh no. <laughs> but as I was saying, <laughs> let's hope she pays attention because once this match car pops up in a second. Well, no, not that one. <laughs> Potty Mount Rosa, yeah, that's what it is. 
Yeah, so here we go, right here. As she wrote, uh, Queen Rivera has to pay attention who's going to be representing Enwell for the Internet Championship. I'll switch it over right now. <laughs> now take a good look at these women right here. They'll be competing in the Battle of the Cosmos match. Could it be Alexis Garcia, Reina Galactica, Molly Too Hottie, Kitty Robin, Captain Val Sparrow, Haley Ryan, Midnight Cruise, or Carrie Lee? One of these ladies could be entering at one spot to represent Enwell in the NWOW Internet Championship. And of course, the internet championship will only be will only be given to the wrestlers to your cause who are representing in other efforts. Okay. And Russell's already mad. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, anyways, <laughs> down to the ring, and I forgot to put since a certain ring announcer in, a, in here. Oh well. It's fine. <laughs> I stand because of them remarks on LAX. Oh no. Sorry, I'll, I was chewing on eyes. <laughs> I forgot to put Jose Rodrigo in here. <laughs> Guess I had to do my own introduction. Damas y caballeros, aquí le presento el futuro campeonato en esta federación. Representando el cartel de San Diego, California. La mujer de fuego, Alexis Garcia. And that was supposed to be Jose Rodrigo, their El Cartel personal ring announcer. <laughs> oh, so much fire going on. <laughs> we see we just checked for the nose, okay. <laughs> it's okay, I don't mind distractions. <laughs> it's a good thing though, because I'm not paying attention to the Alexis Garcia, who's the most uh, amazing, most elegant, beautiful woman I ever seen. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, the woman of fire. Disregard what I said. I have no whatsoever have a crush on this woman. No crush whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> See, you should have distracted me there. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Here we go for the next entry. From Mexico City, Mexico. She is Reina Galactica. And Reina Galactica won half of the Lucha Rudas. As they became close. I hate this crazy man so much. <laughs> I mean, Rosa, if you want to convince Nuragi to bring a call over here and Queen Rivera can beat the crap out of her if you want. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll s that one will be our new jobber. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> here we go. From San Diego, California, she's known as a hip hop luchadora. Molly, too hottie. Little Tammy Mae. Uh, uh, no, no Tammy Mae. <laughs> or Milanista, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Especially, we're not allowing those crazy old hags from TWU. I am, those are the most disgusting women I ever seen. I am not gonna have them here on my bed. 
I'm not gonna have those women's in those in my e-fed. <laughs> no, no, no. Those are words. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> good. They are banned from this. No, don't mention the shit pants and rack pants. <laughs> they are banned from my e-fed. <laughs> And representing from the Wolf Pack, she is the Work Cat, Kitty Robin. They're bad for business. Yes, they're bad for business. <laughs> Tammy Mae is redone, and Melissa are mine. Mama is in my ear. Okay. <laughs> Slams and sugar for Ardo. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> this is a Christian event. <laughs> There are children watching in the audience. <laughs> this is a kids friendly event. <laughs> I figured you do, Melissa. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't mind new people, new, oh, can't speak, new women in the event. Because. Because most of my, most of the women roster here are actually mine, and, and you know me, I like to create whip, uh, cause. <laughs> I base off her of my wide love and her soccer team. Oh, nice! Oh, cannons! What have we discussed? We decided to ban those freaking pirates who are hanging around in the guardrails up there every time when Captain Mouse Barrow comes out. She's a big country girl though. Oh, country girl. From the Virgin Island. She is Captain Val Sparrow. And we got Captain Val Sparrow. She's a former former Galactic Women's Champion. I am on PlayStation, but I also do on a PC. Usually I'll do both PC and PlayStation, right? But right now, since I don't have a lot of time, <laughs> I'm just I mostly do on the PlayStation. I mean, if anything is possible, if you want to bring somebody to the to here, that'd be okay. If you can, you can send me pictures, or you, if you know somebody who does PlayStation, it'd be a lot easier. Whatever works for you, that's fine. <laughs> because for me, I love to see different. <clears throat> since I, since I start to. Uh, to find out about efits that made me more exciting because I never thought I can have <clears throat> send my cause to other efits. I only have Xbox unless someone can remake for PS. I mean, I would not mind remaking your call if if you could do like screenshots of it. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it. Quack. Ah, quacking me, <laughs> scurvy dog. <laughs> How you doing, Scurvy Dog? <laughs> oh, that's bright. That's very bright. From Dublin, Ireland, she is the Celtic boxer, Haley Ryan. Good, my foul friend. I am doing well. How you doing, Scurvy Dog? You just missed the Russian. Give me the help with another Russian. <laughs> and speaking of which, I forgot to update the card. Yes, I did. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, those Kami tend to gang up. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, you never know. It might be possible. They might become heel. Because usually they're both from different gang in Stillwater. But it's very funny. They're helping each other out for once. As you're tuning in right now, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that ice in my mouth. <laughs> From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Say goodnight, because it's past your bedtime. This is Midnight Cruise. And Midnight Crew, we haven't seen Midnight Crews for a long time after they got a a long feud. I, okay, that did not work. Where's Melissa? <laughs> I need to fix that because supposedly Melissa's supposed to pop out. <laughs> like that. Ah, bless you. <laughs> And as I was saying, since, since you're tuning in right now, we're coming down to the Battle of the Cosmo match. And this lady will be earning the spot to represent NWOW. <laughs> and going up against five other women from different EFETs for the Internet Championship. And it'll be placed at the pay-per-view show, Fight Maris in Halloween Town. Yeah, so many pixels, Kirby Dog. I think I have the most pixels. And we're coming down to the final entry. From Seoul, South Korea. When she's angry, she sees red. This is Carrie Lee. And Carrie Lee has got to check off her bucket list. Even though she became close to become the Collective Women's Championship, but it wasn't her time just yet. And hopefully she might be the one to capture the internet championship, but she's gonna represent her, the EFET here. Referee Jan rings the bell. Already chaos going on here in this match. Goodness gracious. And the rules of the Battle of the Cosmos match. You have to eliminate your opponent by pinfall, submission, or knockout. And it's also a fall counts anywhere as well. There goes Kitty Robin, and there goes Carrie Lee. We got Molly Tuhati working on Haley Ryan. And a Russian leg sweep by the captain. Oh! We get, I, mean, I thought I saw a pin attempt by Rena Galactica. There's that Enziguri. Goodness gracious. Now, Rena Galactica being one of the tops, being the top star right now. It's gonna be hard to keep up at the moment. I don't know who to pick here. <laughs> We got Haley tossing over Carrie Lee. And we got a submission hold on Alexis Garcia to cap to the captain, but lets her go. And now everybody's outside. Well, we got the captain working on Reina Collectica. Going for the cover here, but not a even a one count. 
So many bodies going on. We got two people going after Midnight Cruise. And Rene Galaga toss over the captain, but no, changing her mind. I don't know where to look. It's so many chaos. I feel like referee James running around in circles. <laughs> I can barely commentate this map, but you gotta remember that this is for earning the spot for the internet championship match. Oh, nobody home! Alexa just ate the mat. And there goes the Wii! Haley Ryan with the Nintendo Wii. And a Hurricanrana takedown by Alexis Garcia. All the bodies going down to the floor. Everybody hit the floor. And Kitty Robin going after, I don't know who. And an insecurity knocking off the cat. Now look at this, Sunset Flip by Reina Galactica. And Rosa lost some pixels, I am so sorry. Just gonna be angry right now. <laughs> no win. <laughs> Keep trying. Don't give up. I believe in you. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> and Melissa, you're not helping. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up first wave or collect some pixels. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Alexis with the superplex. And it looks like we got a knockout. Who got knocked out? I don't know, but we got a pin attempt here too. Kick out. Who did just, did anybody see who got knocked out? I heard the bell ring. I don't know what's going on. You probably might not know. <laughs> We got Kerry Lee working on Midnight Cruise. Cover here, one, two, and a kick up by Midnight. I mean, I can't see. I can't see Hitty Ryan. I see Rene Collecta hanging out the other sides. Uh oh, 619. And Molly to Hottie to the top row. What is she doing? No! Bodies everywhere. You know what? I think I know who got eliminated. That's Kitty Robin. And on the big monitor, I'll work a little more. <laughs> Wait, what? And we got another elimination. There goes Alexis Garcia. So we got down to Kitty Robin and Alexis eliminated from this match. Yeah, I was right. It was Kitty Robin who got eliminated. And so many bodies going on here. And we got a pin and ten by Molly Tuhati. And so close. The bodies everywhere. There's the whirlwind cutter by Reina Galactica. Two and three. Molly to Hottie has been eliminated. And a pin by Carrie Lee. She just eliminated the captain. Looks like we're down to Reina Galactica, Carrie Lee, Midnight Cruise, and Haley Ryan. And a brain buster by Carrie Lee. And look at that. Midnight Cruise putting the beat down on Carrie Lee. Throws the right hand. 
Off to the ropes. Hits it with a drop kick. And now she's just posing away. Now going for the cover. One, two. And Carrie Lee kicks out. Now Haley Ryan coming back. Got to go for the Celtic cross. You got to give her with the Nintendo Wii. And Haley, Haley, come down. You're missing punches. <laughs> now it looks like gonna go for the pin here. One, two. Midnight Crew kicks out. And a drop kick by Arena Galactica. Oof. Nintendo Wii, yes. <laughs> it's an inside joke from me and Marty Fox. <laughs> oh, we got elimination. Technical knockout. Now we're down to three. We got Midnight Cruise. Carrie Lee and Reina Galactica, one of these ladies might be going forward for the internet championship. There's that package power driver. Man, that crew just moves out of the way. And what are you doing? You're kicking the air. And once again, package power driver coming to Carrie Lee. Going for the cover. One, two, and no, Carrie Lee still in the match. Goes to pick up. And there's a whirlwind cutter. We got a knockout. Carrie Lee has been eliminated. We're gunned down to Midnight Cruise. And Reina Galactica. Who will be moving forward? Who will be moving forward to fight Mercy at Halloween Town pay per view show and represent NWAL for the Internet Championship? Oh, up on the shoulders. Black Star Driver, and we got your winner who been going forward for the Internet Championship match. And that is Reina Galactica. Unbelievable. Wow, you guys have not gotten any luck with a swim. What is going on? <laughs> and Gina wants a pixel so oh boy. Here is your winner, Reina Galactica. Looks like later tonight we're gonna have Reina Galactica going one on one against. Uh, Queen Andrea Rivera in a bit. GG indeed. And that puts her up in the car there. It will be Kaze. Representing from CAW. It will be Maya O'Murphy representing Breakout Wrestling. Maria Fernando representing from the YWL. We got Danny Weaver representing from DKW and Queen Andre Rivera representing from the RWF. And now we got Reina Galactica representing from NWOW. Now this is going to be very interesting. Very interesting match indeed. All right, we're coming down to the halftime. <laughs> As you give me a moment while I set up the next match. 
you know what to do. <laughs> Just buckle by the queen of emotes, Rosa. <laughs> Turn down the music a bit. You know what to do. Spam all your emotes. <laughs> Spam all your emotes! <laughs> All right, we're back again. <laughs> uh, looks like we got a special going on. Me <laughs> win. I wish there was a way to put who got the most emotes in the chat. <laughs> Is there a way to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that's a lot of emotes. I can't even bear who has so many. <laughs> when I say spam the emotes, yeah, spam all the emotes. <laughs> See what Scarlet has to say after she has been being played mind games. From Eliza the Grim Reaper. I'd never be able to choose <laughs> Russell or G Man. I mean, not even me. I mean, I don't know how. All it is just do copy and paste. 
I don't click the damn fast. <laughs> Were you expecting me someone else? Well, I'm sorry. But the fact is that I have been a terrible couple weeks. Because someone has been playing mind games with me. And that, of course, I'm being called up by this Grim Reaper, quote, quote, whoever she is. But you gotta remember, the only person who lives in the dark, and it's me, who is the current Breakout Wrestling Misfit Champion. So not to worry, once I face you at Fight Merch in Halloween Town, I will defeat you. And I will make sure you are the one who's going to be rest in peace. So make this match more interesting. I'll decide to make this match official and defend my Misfit Championship against you. And that is said, no more talking, no more waiting, so I want you to realize that once I defeat you, I am still your Breakout Wrestling Misfit Champion. And I don't care what everyone thinks. Well, looks like Scarlett decided to defend the Misfit Championship at Fight Merchant Halloween Town. Okay, you're done. You're done. What? <laughs> Fat fingers. <laughs> Tell me about that, you man. <laughs> I have fat fingers too. This is why we had tablets. <laughs> this is why we had tablets. <laughs> okay, now I make sure the card's up and running. <laughs> Because right now, I hope you're ready since we saw the match between Tracy Agres and Enya. Now it's time for Ruth McKay to go in his one on one against Zenobia. As you may saw earlier, Tracy lost her cool. This is the first time I ever seen Tracy get so upset. Yes, good luck to G-Man, yeah. <laughs> so this is pretty much testing himself if the Marauders may, may be the one to capture a tag team championship. Not only that, the, the if I can remember correctly, the third team from another EFAD to capture the NWOW tag team championship. <laughs> Good luck, hashtag Ruth. <laughs> I didn't know Ruth had a Twitter, Twitch account. <laughs> I mean, I am a bit of concern right now because Ruth McKay is at least seven foot tall. She's the monster among women. I mean, this is the woman you don't want to make her angry unless you have silver spoons. She likes to collect spoons. <laughs> and there's a reference to that. <laughs> Don't you just love loading screen? <laughs> Okay there, okay, there we go. 
head down to the ring. That's a big chair, goodness gracious. And I did not have time to put the bets up. <laughs> It was done in the last minute. <laughs> the following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. Representing from Rootless Aggression and accompanied by Tracy Agress. She's one half of the NWOW Tag Team Champion. She is the Monster Among Ponies. Monster Among Women, Ruth McKay. And GGGG man, he won some pixels. <laughs> let's just hope, <laughs> let's just hope your luck on this match. <laughs> hooray us, <laughs> hooray you. <laughs> And her, her opponent, accompanied by Enyo, representing the Marauders. This is Zenobia. Why is Rosa booing? <laughs> Why are you booing, Rosa? <laughs> that the Marauders are owned by NYG Man. Are you saying boo because you're not winning pixels? <laughs> no more. Rosa says no more pixel. <laughs> no more swim. <laughs> but let's just hope. Let's see if this match doesn't go down in a brutal way because Zenobia will be going against the monster. And Nuraki, you put exclamation point swim in the amount. There we go. And you want some pixels. There we go. <laughs> oh, and a fake out clothesline. Oh, but Ruth just coming down with a clobbering clothesline of her own. And now throwing the sponges to the head of Zenobia. See, at least this time I know who's in the match, so I won't get confused. <laughs> Is that a, what is that? Is that a rage? <laughs> what is that? Emo, that's a buffalo. <laughs> Looks like a buffalo. And now she's just working on the arm. Sinoya kicking the bag on Ruth McKay. That's a rose boo. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is that? Zenobia just using her legs, breaking Ruth McKay all over the place, not letting her go. And again, what is this maneuver? I've never seen this before. And now, oh, to the turnbuckle and a cold line. He just done gone this woman angry. And then, oh, Tossing it around across the ring. And now going for the cover. One, but not even a one count. I may have counted too soon. And now Sinoya with the L strike. And a fake out clothesline. And again, working the arm. And a spine buster. Going for the cover. One, two. Kick out at two. Uh oh, Sinovia setting up here. Kick to the midsection and a knee driver. One, two. And Ruth McKay kicks out. Okay, 
Back to the corner. Blocks the elbow. It looks like Sinoa has got to go up high. Yoko Saka cutter. And now she's striking away from the ropes. Hooking the leg. One, two. And the frustration is showing. All the anger's building up on Ruth McKay. Oh, and a hard clothesline. I never, never thought somebody would ever knock out Ruth. Hits it with a jawbreaker and another clothesline. Cover here, one. And Ruth still not giving up. And <laughs> Russell just booing at New Hockey. <laughs> Now locking the legs. Oh, elbow smashed to the head. Uh oh, kick to the midsection. And a curb stomp. My goodness. But not enough to put down the monster. Uh oh, going up into the running power slam. She has the legs on the ropes. She has the legs on the rope. Referee James. <laughs> I can understand she's like a seven foot tall woman, but still. <laughs> and now Zenobia, again with a fake out clothesline. Cover one, two, and only a kick out. Oh, there's a slap. And a knee. One, two. And how much does it take to put down the monster? And now coming back with the clothesline, taking out on Ruth McKay. Single leg drop kick. And now trying to pick her up. Oh, trying to use the weight here. Oh. And she's picking up Sinovio. Oh, with the military press. And it's gonna go for another power, running power slam. But still, legs on the ropes. Top here. Uh oh, and the anger is building up. The anger is building up just like Rosa's anger. Ruth Smash is coming a long way, and now she's just working on the head. As she is known as Ruthless Ruth McKay. And a tornado DDT. <laughs> Hits it again with a spine buster. Zenobia is firing up right now. Gain some momentum. Maybe not. She's already wearing herself out. And here we go, Ruth McKay's in trouble. Oh, oh, and a clothesline. Whatever she was preparing there, stopped in the tracks on the monster. And now Zenobia's in trouble once again with another Yoko Saka cutter. Oh, what an arm drag. <laughs> More like a judo hip toss. And now Sinovia is already getting out of here. <laughs> Caught in a shoulder tackle. Me no? Wait, what? <laughs> I know I'm not crazy. The crazy one is Nuragi, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. Look out, Referee James. And a curb stomp. <laughs> Salt detection. <laughs> Zenobia to the top row. Empty pool. Missed the target. And now to the turnbuckle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, she stopped. I don't know why. I'm just <laughs> saying it. I'm counting in my, my eyes closed. <laughs> this is not normal. Zenobia, cover. 
Now I just opened my eyes. I see Tsunoda in a cover here. <laughs> And now in the submission, Hole Senoya pulling back on Ruth McKay. The desperate love we got from Tracy Agress, making sure her best friend doesn't give up. And again with the hard clothesline. What is this, a clothesline party? <laughs> yep, there it is again, another clothesline. Uh oh, here we go. One more time with the cutter. I believe it's over for Sinovia. One, two, and three. Goodness gracious. Looks like both team are are even here now. But it's not over yet from here. We're yet to find out what happened at Fight Mercy Halloween Town. Will the Marauders... Will the Marauders become the new Tag Team Champion or the Ruthless Aggression retain? We'll yet to find out after the pay-per-view. G-Man was a salty today or said me? I don't know. <laughs> Here is your winner. Ruth McKay. That's a terrible introduction. Here is your winner, Ruth McKay. See, now that's better. <laughs> My goodness gracious, what a match. Now we already know that this match is happening right now. It's the Reina versus the Queen. At least both ladies will be competing for the NWOW Internet Championship at Fightmers and Halloween Town pay per view. Pay-per-view, free per you, you know what I mean. It's still gonna be a free preview on the YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll put that in there just in case. Because be on the lookout because the pay-per-view show will be on that YouTube channel. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Why are you blushing? <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico. She is Reina Galactica. I hope she got a lot of energy going on after that Battle of the Cosmos match. Here we go, it's time for a dancey party with Rosa, cause here comes Queen Andrea. And I made sure I got this right. <laughs> and her opponent from San Jose, Puerto Rico. This is Queen Andrea Rivera. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. <laughs> no, I'm getting... <laughs> no, yes, I got it right. San Jose, Puerto Rico, good. <laughs> Not like last time. <laughs> and why is New Rocky booing? Also, you put too many O's.
<laughs> As she is Queen Andrea representing Kuki seven Kuki seventy three, also known as Rosa. Oh my guys, yeah, it's your time to get angry or dance. But just be lucky that the Interstar Hybrid Championship champion Jellica is not here tonight. Because at the pay-per-view show, Queen Andrea's gonna be pulling a double duty on the same night. Gotta go after the Internet Championship and also the Interstar Hybrid Championship. Now look at that, Reina Galactica just saying settle, miedo. But coming back with the Lariat. He said, good luck. <laughs> Why are you booing Terosa? <laughs> you know what, for me, I'm cheering for Rosa. I really like Galactica, you like Galactica. That was a short cheer. <laughs> oh, look at this. Queen Andrea going to the top rope. Hits it with the elbow right in the sternum cover. But a kick out. And Rosa. <laughs> this is what happened. We got New Ragi and Rosa in the same chat room. They oh, hell breaks loose. And Rena Galactica with the instant Guri to the head. And now pulling back on the leg. Not looking good. Oh! Queen Andrea managed to break out. Oh! And a tilt the wall backbreaker. Hits it with a face buster. G Men's in a drink, so what? <laughs> And look at this! Oh, no rolling senton, but Reina Galactica moves out of the way. And there's a whirlwind cutter. Jay Cousin in Spanish. <laughs> you never know. Uh oh, Black Star Driver by Galactica. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Reina Galactica dodged Shimato and in the match. If I say anything, I'll probably get our son in law thrown at me. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, Rosa. <laughs> Such language. <laughs> Here we go, one more time. Queen Andrea to the top rope. With the Senton. Cover one, two, and no. And why are you posing? You did not win the match. <laughs> it's a battle between the queen and the reina. And now she's coming back with a clothesline, taking on another clothesline. Hits it with the lariat. And Galactica rolls to the outside, but Queen Andrea got a risky maneuver here. Oh! Could be a big mouth. We're Rosa and in the long so loud. It's okay to be loud. Because that's how we are. We're loud. And there's a face buster. Dragging away from the road. Weiss maneuver there. Cover. One, two. But no, still in the match. Andrea still hanging on there as well as Galactica. <laughs> uh oh, ow! Goodness gracious! Oh my! <laughs> oh, what had I just witnessed there? <laughs> and careful, Nuragi, she has the power! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot that Rosa has the power in the chat. 
You make her angry, you will be <laughs> eliminated. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh! Massive suplex off the apron. I'm trying to figure out what just happened here. <laughs> and again with the Black Star Driver. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, no. You know what? Just blame it all on Nuragi. <laughs> blame it all on Nuragi. <laughs> But that match, goodness gracious. But you know what? At least Queen Andrea is giving some sportsmanship to Reina Galactica. Now prepare yourself for some Angry Rosa. Yep, there it is. <laughs> angry Rosa on the loose. <laughs> I feel sorry for G-Man. I'm pretty sure she's throwing a fit. <laughs> uh, but like I said, you never know what's gonna happen at the pay-per-view show. She could be our first internet champion. She could be the next Interstar Hybrid champion. So be on that lookout there. But damn, but like I said, what have I just witnessed? I just saw <laughs> Rosa using the power to <laughs> delete the message. <laughs> Is Naragi still in here? <laughs> I can't even tell. <laughs> Starting away now, she's only losing. I'm just don't worry, me like I said, you never know. Don't give up hope, there might be a chance. It might be a chance. <laughs> All right, moving on. Going up to the next match, we got the match between Nadia Fox coming from Breakout Wrestling going up against Rebecca. But look who's gonna be coming by at ringside. And that is Larissa. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna do the introduction. <laughs> Stupid 2K! Whatever, I have no time right now. <laughs> As we got the match between Nadia Five representing Sly and Sly. Going up against Rebecca. But look who's at ringside. We got Larissa Koslov. I mean, both Russian have decided to tag along here. Now Nadia Fox dragging away from the ropes with the neck breaker. Hits it with the clothesline. Rebecca coming back with a power bomb off the corner. Now look at this, Rebecca with a military press to the gut buster and coming back with a knee to the head. You know what I also forgot? I forgot to update the match card in the bottom.
Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at this. Rebecca giving to the sharpshooter to Nadia Fox. Well, she tap, snap, or nap. Tap, tap, tap. No tap. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I'm such a delicate duck. <laughs> now Rebecca working on the neg on Nadia Fox. The Russian known as Rebecca coming from St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, taking up a victory. <laughs> That's a quick match. <laughs> But look at that replay with that uppercut by Rebecca. I had a call. Who won? Which one? This match or the previous match? <laughs> Here is your winner, Rebecca. Ross, are you dancing or <laughs> what? <laughs> I think Rosa is blaming you <laughs> because. <laughs> And GG to Rebecca. I mean, this is pretty impressive to see. And oh my goodness. <laughs> Toxic Rosas. <in> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> potty hands. How's that potty hands? <laughs> Now, so before I move on, I even need to know why did it skip the entrance? Oh well, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Bring out the best in Rosa. I mean, that, I mean that's true. <laughs> Goodness gracious! There she goes again. <laughs> Now, Nuragi, you better be careful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The feud is real. The feud is real. <laughs> you no, know, I know understand Rosa speak. <laughs> I mean, you forgot. I me have forgot to mention that Rosa has the power to delete your <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> anyway, moving down to the next match. If we already got two representatives that be competing, oops, let me fix my mic. Representing from their both efforts, and they'll be competing for the internet championship. And that's the match between Maria Fernando. One on one against Danny Weaver, who just made her main roster debut last week. And yes, I remember the <laughs> where she's from this time. <laughs> the following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from San Juan, Costa Rica. She is the Costa Rican queen. Maria Fernando As she is representing from the YWL Owned by Texan Gamer 13 he runs his efed the YWL over his YouTube channel Give him a follow he's also preparing his pay-per-view show Uh, I forgot what the name for some I'm a terrible <laughs> something massacre. I mean, was you you find out? <laughs> and her opponent, 
from Long Island, New York. She's known as the prototype, Danny Weaver. Hope I can type this right. There we go, yes. Yes, Danny Weaver make made her main roster debut last week owned by Phantom Dragon 13. Representing for the D from the DK, I forgot what it was. <laughs> DK Wrestling. DKW, there we go. <laughs> This is what happened when you don't have the notes in front of the screen. <laughs> now this is interesting to see. We got both women representing two different effects. Oh, Maria Fernando with a tornado DDT kick out by Danny Weaver. This is just me, or this is going to a very fast-paced match. As Danny Weaver kick to the back. But didn't even face Maria and giving the clothesline to the outside. Goes to pick up Danny Weaver, bringing him back into the ring. And coming back with the Hurricanrana. And hits it with a standing shooting star. Goodness. Now Dilly inventory, sorry. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I can understand all the frustration and all the emotion. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> And Maria firing up here. She's pulling back to the sleeper on okay. Doesn't even look like she's pulling the sleeper hold. Come on, 2K. <laughs> now kicked in the midsection. Maria Fernando. Oh, with a sunset flip. And Maria trying to go for the Spanish fly, but. Danny Weaver blocks it. Uh oh, not looking good here. Danny Weaver with the weave of death. You just popped in the right time. <laughs> Phantom Dragon 13. <laughs> in case you missed it, she made her main roster debut here last week. And now she's going up against Maria Fernanda from another E Fed. Now Maria with the leg sweep, trying to get the fire behind her. Hits it with the right hand. What is this? Anna Enziguri. And look at this. It seems like these two leads are evenly matched here. And Maria just dumping away on Danny Weaver. And now Maria working on the neck on Weaver. Irish right back into the corner. Fireman carry counter by Danny Weaver. And now bringing Maria back into the corner. What she gotta do here? She just turned around on Maria Fernando. And now picking up to the top row into the trio. Whoa! Where is she going from here? Danny Weaver with a double stump! Goodness! And once again, gotta go for the pub handle. Driver! Cover one! Two and three. Danny Weaver picks up the victory. Wow. And rather just say boot to Nuragi. Oh gosh. 
But this by far has become a really interesting match. Here's the replay of the Weave of Death. A Weave of Destiny. That's my fault for calling it that. <laughs> but it seems like Fed and Dragon likes that name better. <laughs> And she finished it off with the pump handle driver. Here is your winner, the prototype Danny Weaver. Oh, the GGs. Congratulations to Danny Weaver. And yes, since you saw now all the women from different EFED, they'll be competing. And then six women match to for the NWOW Internet Championship. As you see the cards right now, these are the cards at the moment, soon to be announced later on. As we got the Marauders going after for the attacking titles, and we got this triple threat match representing for the CAW. And we got this right here, the NOL Internet Championship. These six women representing their own EFAT. And of course, we already got Reina Galactica competing there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we come down to the main event. <laughs> you had to put that there for a second. <laughs> now, these ladies, there'll be one of the six ladies who will be competing in the Oogie Boogie's Chamber match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making a way to the ring from Austin, Texas. She is known as the outlaw werewolf, Cassidy James. The what chamber match? The Oogie Boogie's chamber match. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, it's an elimination match. I decided to change the name to Oogie Boogie. <laughs> you know the song goes. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. I'm not going to sing the whole song. <laughs> Rosa is a, it's a scaredy cat. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do it, Rosa. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> and in that chamber match will be for the Galactic Women's Championship. And her opponent from the Music City in West Mayhem Equestria. This is Rhythm. And she is the impossible Rhythm because she is a former NWOW Galactic Women's Champion. Now in the Oogie Boogie match, <laughs> Oogie Boogie match, that's weird. In the chamber match, you know how it goes in the elimination chamber. And requested by, yes, the first ever two time former Galactic Women's Champion and current breakout champion, Vampirico. How's it going? You're just in time for the main event. <laughs> and yes, the rhythm is the first to cash in the briefcase. Over last year, Halloween Town. Yeah. 
Naragi, Rose, they might have to put you in a timeout. <laughs> Don't make me do that. <laughs> now, this is going to be a very interesting match. We got Cassidy James, one of the top stars here at Animal. So close to capture at least a championship. As I got home and passed out after providing my son's Pokemon. Oh, no worries. Pokemon cards? <laughs> no worries. Okay. <laughs> I know how it is. <laughs> oh, no. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Nuragi, no. He got put into timeout. <laughs> oh. I mean, I can understand Niragi is very... <laughs> he should have left that to Rosa, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> going on to this match here, we got Cassidy James. And Rhythm. And they're going to be locked in a chamber. The Oogie Boogie's Chamber. That's the announcement made today that the NY official Kim Possible and made a match. It was supposed to be if either Tetris Girl or Melissa does not show up, they will be replaced by someone else. But not only that, neither Tetris Girl or Melissa showed up here tonight. Oh, look at this. Cassidy James setting up here. Into the spear. What is going on between you two? <laughs> Cover! <laughs> Rosa Nuragi, what is going on with two? <laughs> now look at this, record scratch curb stomp by the rhythm. On to Cassidy James. One and two, kicks out at two. And now Cassidy Chain trying to get the upper hand this match, bringing Rhythm, tossing over and hanging onto the ring apron. Uh oh, Cassidy James, don't do this. Gonna pick up Rhythm with that suplex. <laughs> oh, and here comes the beatdown. Duck Thunder coming down with a close line. Rhythm's in trouble. And now going to pick up Rhythm to the top rope. Oh, and a flatliner. And now gaining back some momentum once again. Rhythm now picking up on Cassidy James. What is this? Feel the beat super kick. But that wasn't enough for Cassidy James. And there's a spine buster. And uh oh, my battery's gonna die. <laughs> no, not yet. Cover one, two. Yes, I can tell you and Rosa are like siblings. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Yes, Ben <laughs> Perry just watching it. And the uh, Omega Driver by Cassidy James. One, two, and three. Cassidy James might be the next person to become the NWOW Galactic Women's Champion. GG indeed. And there's that curve stomp. We thought for sure Rhythm might have end the match against the Outlaw Werewolf.
But I don't think really it's in the game right now. She's a bit concerned. She's better concerned of her sister, Sweet Paul. Here is your winner, the Outlaw Werewolf, Cassidy James. Any more moonshine? Oh no. <laughs> Sorts the goblin. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> I mean, you're just in time for the end of the show. We just end the show already. The go home show for the pay per view show. Bless you, Melissa. Why is the thing not working? Oh well. <laughs> Thank you for again with the two with the hundred biddies. <laughs> it's no worries. All right, that's your main event, but no worries. Got the biddies and you haven't even been promoted to do it. No! <laughs> I'm afraid to go in that promotion. <laughs> I'm not a dweeb, am I? <laughs> or can I? <laughs> well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event where you just end the show. We're gonna... Head down. I might probably might take a week off to get this pay per view going, or you never know. We have to find out. Thank you so much. So be on the lookout the next pay ne uh, the pay per view show Fight Mercy and Halloween Time up my YouTube channel. If you don't have that. Oh, sure. I'll message you as well. <clears throat> also, check that out on my YouTube channel. All the boss will be there, and, uh, and the pay per view show will be posted on there, too. This has been Duck Nemesis and Roman. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Have a quack-tastic night. Sorry about the Yankees. Oh, no. 